Let's see if I can do a video without making it like 10 minutes long. I just wanted to give a quick puppy update today, so I'm going to talk faster than I had been with the three other videos I deleted. So anyway, um, I, I had the puppies outside today for a couple of hours. They did great out there. They get exposed to um, the other dogs in the house, not they're just, just their mama. They're having a really hard time accepting that she is no longer nursing. But we'll, we get puppies all through that. When they were outside, I cleaned their enclosure. I added a second potty spot because I just wasn't happy with how much they were missing. So I'm going to really concentrate on that, watch them after they eat, naps, all that kinds of things. Just watch for all the signals for when they are typically going to go potty and then they will get put on the potty spot. Um, one potty spot has alfalfa and the other one doesn't, just if anybody was wondering what the deal was. <clears throat> I added the two pieces onto the tunnel so that there's a slide and stairs on one side. They still love this one, but this one takes a little bit more courage and daring and I'm happy that they have both that they can play with. Um, I brought them in. I've been playing thunder sounds. I also turned on some upbeat music and was dancing around. And they are not afraid of me anymore. They they come up and they jump and they want to they want to be with me. So that was kind of fun to see that they've kind of gotten through that. Um, that little ball right there, it's got a button on it and it bounces around. And they are all really excited about that now too. Um, just I'm just trying to think of everything that I've done today. Um, been outside. They've been exposed to other dogs the music, now we're doing thunder. I mean, uh, I watch and it, they're not getting overwhelmed at all. So that's important. Later on, I'm gonna let them have a nap first and then I'm gonna take them outside and let them, they're gonna play in the water. I've got a little pool and I'm gonna take it outside and they're just gonna have a few inches of water and a little toy that spouts up water and that'll be fun. And then they'll also get a walk tonight. We might even go as far as a local park that usually has a lot of action going on. Not that I want people to touch them or hold them, but I want them to see other people. I want them to see other dogs. I want them to be out, seeing cars go by, all of those things, it's very important. And then I think tomorrow they're going to get another car ride. But anyway, that's my puppy update for the day. Yay, I'm not at five minutes. So they're doing great on eating their food. Um, I moved the water bowl up so Bliss can't splash in it as easy. They just want to make sure they're getting enough to drink. And that's it. Um, please DM me if you're interested in any, in any of these pups. I know that people who aren't on a waiting list, my waiting list, actually, most of them had to defer to a later litter. They had life things happen. And so I've got great availability for this litter. I know that people are not on a waiting list often wait till puppies or till about six, seven weeks old because they want to see what a puppy's going to look like more as an adult. And they also, once they've decided on a puppy, they don't want to wait that long. So these pups are ready to go July 8th. Um, for anybody out of the, the Utah area, with not in a driving distance, I always flight nanny my own puppies and I'm happy to do that. And I never charge for my time. I just charge for my expenses. So yeah, you can DM me or you know, here on social media, or feel free to call or text. My number is 801-652-9604. Have a great day.